what is house hacking? House hacking is where you purchase a one to four unit dwelling as your primary residence and you rent out the rest of the home. It's a great way to create passive income. You might ask why not purchase a five unit or nine unit a building? Well, in order to get a conventional loan as a primary residence, it has to be one to four units in that property. So that's why it's important that you're looking at a one to four unit resident as the home that you're going to create for house hacking. Step one is getting pre-approved. You're going to work with a mortgage lender or your bank to get your pre-approved for your primary residence for a one to four unit dwelling. What this is going to do, this is going to make your down payments on that primary residence a lot lower. You were looking at anywhere from three and a half to five percent as a down payment. Versus if it was an investment property for you, we are talking upwards of 25% down. So let's do the math. If you have a $400,000 four unit property that you're looking to purchase as an investment property, not house hacking, investment property, and you have to put 25% down, we're looking at $100,000. But if you look at a home that you're gonna do as your primary residence, and you put down 5%, that is only $20,000. Huge difference. The one thing though you do have to keep in mind, you will have to pay PMI, otherwise known as private mortgage insurance, uh, that will be added to your mortgage. Now, if the numbers make sense, in the end, it's worth it. Step two. Step two is deciding on the product that you want to purchase. What I mean by that is, do you want to purchase a single family unit or do you want to purchase a duplex to a quadplex unit? Here's the difference. Single family. Single family, you are going to be renting out rooms of your home to other individuals. So you're going to have to have shared space, kitchen, bathroom, common living areas. If you're renting out a duplex to a quadplex, you're renting out full units. Therefore, you are not sharing common living space with somebody. So you need to decide on which unit you want to live in before we start to shop. And then you have to understand what those numbers look like if you're just renting out a single family bedroom or if you're able to rent out a full unit. Step three, find a realtor. Why, you might ask. Well, we're always working. We're always looking for the right property for you. We're always on the hunt, working with for sale by owners, shopping Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and the multiple listing services. But we're always looking for the right property for you when you're not. Could you, could you go to a for sale by owner? Of course. It's great to save money, but if you haven't worked a contract net yet, you might need some help. Reminder, we as agents, we're paid by the seller. So you don't pay us at closing. The seller typically pays the agents. And lastly, working with the realtor, we are going to work the contract, the contingencies, deadlines, all the way up to closing to make sure that this transaction is as smooth as possible for you. Step four, start shopping and find that right home. May it be like I talked about the single family, duplex through a quadplex, but run the numbers. The key is that you are getting 15 to 20% return on your investments. We can talk about what that looks like, but you want to make sure that the numbers make sense. You don't want to be emotionally involved. You want to make sure the numbers make sense. I cannot say that enough. If you are not getting your return on investment, you are missing out. So, figure out what that return on investment is, figure out what that property is, and let's write a contract. Step five, closing, repairs, occupancy. And what I mean by that is, we're gonna close on the property, you then are gonna take a little bit of a time and energy and get some fresh paint, carpet if needed, get the carpets cleaned, Get it updated just a little bit so that when you get it rented out, you can maximize your dollars. Then, rent it out. Get it occupied. Get, start getting your return on investment today. Now that you know what house hacking is, start putting that money aside. Start creating that passive income so that in a year from now, we can get you into another property. We can build that portfolio for you and create income. For further information, reach out to us at Eagle Homes. 